All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakurash, Thwari Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit. Thwari Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving us the truth as worms. Double honor to our apostle and elders, that great millstone, and salutation and blessings. To the hopeful elect. Uh, and I just want to do this quick video on uh, you got to have faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. When shit is going bad, when, when shit is fucking up, you still have to maintain your faith and integrity before you howl by Shemi Al Shai. Because the number one cause of this captivity we're in is what? Ha having no faith. Our people lost faith in the Heavenly Father and what? They turned into idols. They didn't see the profit, they didn't see the benefit, nor did they see the glory in serving you howl by Shemi Al Shai. So they went to other things, they went to other gods. And this is why we're here to this day, because of what? Idol worship, going, uh, leaving off from our power, going after other gods because our people lack faith. You can't let this flesh take over when shit gets rough and, and when shit gets bad. You Sometimes you just got to wait, think, <laughs> think, bro, think before you do shit and, and ask you how about Shemi Al Shah to guide you. Because you can make the situation 10 times worse by just jumping jumping to something else. This is uh, Sirach 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. And you have to put this in perspective. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shemi Al Shai, is not just going to give us the kingdom. We fucked that up. We had it in the beginning and fucked it up. So, Yahweh, by Shemi Al Shai, of course, as someone who is trying to build a trust with his woman again, is going to set trials, set certain things to go wrong. He's going he's to make shit happen to where you have to trust in him. Now, you have two options. You can either trust in him. Or you can do some backdoor shit, and and he re and he reveal your bullshit. That's th those are always the two options: either trust in the Lord, or do some fucked up shit that's gonna get you. That's that's ultimately gonna get you get the Lord mad at you. And that's what our nation has done over and over and over again: is not trusting the Lord when they're going through temptations and when they're going through trials and going to the heathens. Rather than just holding it down and trusting the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shimei Al Shai. Listen, we broke. It says Second Kings. That's Second Kings eight on his license plate right here. I wonder. I wonder what's there. Second Kings eight on his license plate in front of me. But we broke the trust of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. You have to understand that we broke his trust. So. Of course, he's going to do things where we have to build that trust back up with him. And that's why these trials and these tribulations happen in our lives to see whether you're going to fold or you're going to hold hold it down. You're going to keep the faith and trust in how about Shimei Al Shai or you're going to do some other shit. This is verse three. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou may increase in, at thy last end. So you have to cleave unto the Lord and wait sometimes, man. Just be patient. The Lord going to deal, man. The Heavenly Father is always deal. He's always dealed. He's, that's a fact. Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai has always dealt with his people. And he's always made, he's always done right by us. We're the ones who've done wrong. This is uh, first Ed, second Ezra 1 and verse 5. See, see ye have forsaken me. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I will have and I shall have no mercy upon you. Whensoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you. For for ye have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Ye have not ye have not as it were forsaken me, but your own self, saith the Lord. Because that's what it is, man. Cause look. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, have I not prayed you as a father his sons, as a mother his daughters, and a, and a nurse her young babes, that ye may be my people, and I should be your power, that ye would be my children, and I should be your father? So the Lord's telling like, bro, what the, f have I not done all this for you? 
Why are you going to why are you going to fucking idols, man? Why are you going to why are you going to this world? Have I not protected you? Have I not set you up and, 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 and girded you? Have have I not established you to be my people and, and this is what you do to me? So what did, what happened? The Lord casted us off. And now, especially in this life, we go through trials and tribulations to 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 really test our faith to see if we about it or not. Because this Jacob's trouble is to do what? To the our temptation is to do what? Test your faith. Test your metal. And we're all gonna be tested. And I hope I said man, I really hope that Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai keeps keeps me and all of us to 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 hold on and keep the faith until the end. Because all our faith is gonna be tested. All of ours. And, and with these day to day trials in our life, our faith gets tested, but our, our ultimate faith is going to be tested. Rather, are you willing to die for this or not? Do you really believe what has been written? Do you really believe that that there's a promise waiting? Do you truly believe that? That's 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 it's ultimately going to come down to that. And this is why the Lord said, if they do this in a green tree, how much more in a dry? How much more when when shit's going bad? How much is Jake gonna fold in a faith yet broken, man? Cause 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 some bullshit happened. It's it's serious, man. This is some scary shit. We are involved in the most spiritual thing in a planet, man. This is the most spiritual, spiritual thing on the entire planet Earth. In the heavens. This is serious business gotta take it serious man you have to take it serious i just want to see seen that license plate so i want to look to see if there's anything here oh shit This is an example right here. Let's see. Let me start up. I have to do another video on this, but I want to get this example in uh right here. First Maccabees one and verse. Let's start at verse eleven. In those days, were there were there uh, out of Israel wicked men, which which persuaded many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathens that are round about us." Since we departed from from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were were so forward therein that they went to the king who gave them a license to do after the ordinance of the heathens. Wherefore, they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathens. So Jake started going after they left off from the ways of the heavenly father. Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, they couldn't hold. They didn't have faith. They didn't have faith in the promises, the things that that are laid up for the righteous. They didn't have faith in that. They didn't trust in it. They didn't believe in it. So what did they do? They said, "Look, we're gonna go into the heathens because because this ain't that we're not doing this. We're gonna go to the heathens and, and, and we're gonna deal with them because we we gonna we gonna do well if we we side with them." And, and look what happened. Look what happened, bro. The the three Maccabees, Jake, Jake, yeah, the the righteous were doing doing somewhat all right, but the hey, the the wicked were getting fucked up. And that's why eventually, when the Romans came through in seventy A.D., J the Lord just man, the Lord demolished Jake because of their lack of faith. Man, the man, this is why faith is a strong and powerful, powerful thing to have.
This is Ephesians 2 and verse 8. For for by grace are are ye saved through faith, and that and not of yourselves, for it is a gift of Yahweh. Man, this is a, having faith is a gift, bro. That's a gift. And the Lord can take that gift away. And King David was very aware of that. That's why he prayed the Lord take not his Holy Spirit away. Because there's a spirit behind us to go out. There's a spirit behind us to do this work. There's a spirit and there's a force. There's a pressure that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, puts on you to do this. And he can, at the same time, he can give it and can take it away. And that's fucking terrifying, bro. Because there's nothing out the, out there in this world. And if you don't have faith, you're going to die in this wicked kingdom, man. Without faith, that gift of faith is over, man. It's over. It's fucking over. Just death. And you and you can, can say in, in your, your fucked up head that you got faith. But it, you, your work's going to show that you don't. And that's and that's scary, bro. That's some real shit, man. You got to, to be thankful of this truth and be in this hope and pray that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shai, keeps his truth, keep his spirit upon us because it's of him. It's of him. So this is just a video I'll do real quick on that. Because you gotta you gotta maintain the faith and hope and pray. To Yahweh Shem Al Shai never takes that faith away. So with that, all praises be to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. With that, shalom.